Hi, it's Craig, WJ6F. Today's video, we're going to be programming the Radiodity QT40, and we'll get started right after this. Okay, the first thing you want to do once you get to radiodity.com, go up to the top right corner and hover over the word support. They'll bring down a drop down menu. Go to the far left, click on the Radiodity window scroll down to the bottom and you'll see the QT40 and it'll give you an option of the programming software, the cable driver, a downloadable manual in case you lose yours and a frequency chart. Go ahead and download the cable driver and programming software. Okay, once you have the software all installed, go ahead and open up the program. First thing you want to do is up in the menu bar in between the read from and write to icons, you're going to click on that little button and this will allow you to set up your COM port. In this case, we need COM port three. Click OK. Then go to this little computer screen, read from radio. You can either do that here or up in program. Then hit OK. And one of the things you'll notice while you're in this programming mode, the display window for the channel on the radio will say PC. And the repeater we're going to be setting up, the frequency is 29.6400, and that's it, HC. Then we go to channel 9, you'll see it right here. Now set your CTCSS for transmit. Over here, you have CTCSS and DCS. Choose the right frequency, in this case we want 107.2. Once you're done with that, you're going to want to choose your repeater direction. In this case, it's negative. Then once you have that all set up and you get all the repeaters in that you want to put in, over here they also have the weather channels. This is your menu area. You can set this up however you want. Do 120 seconds here for timeout timer. You can do an SWR protect, you can set up your echo volume and the delay. You can set up your Vox, monitor volume, squelch level. If you want to try out different Roger beeps, click on this one, opens up this other window, and you can sample the different ones. Once you have everything set up the way you want, go ahead and click on this little radio icon. This will write it to the radio. Now, if you want to do CB, go ahead and click on this drop down menu and you'll see up here you have CB. Put some of them in different orders, but it will give you the CB frequencies and you can adjust those as you see fit. And you're all done. Go ahead and turn the power off to the radio and turn it back on and everything should be uploaded and programmed properly. As you saw, it's a real easy software to use, not much to it, but it does give you all the functions you want to alter and adjust. Unfortunately, it's not available on Chirp yet, but it might be in the near future. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe, and don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description area. And while you're here, why don't you check out one of these other videos? And thanks again for watching.